you're playing submerged. Yeah, with no combat or deaths, it might be kind of easy, but maybe you're not sure in a few things. Maybe you can't find the last few secrets. Where's that last animal? Why did I run out of wall fragments to go across? How do postcards work? Well, don't worry. I'm here to help. Whether you need a lot or just a little. I'm Brogan, and this is the Game Espresso Guide on Submerged. No wall left unsidled. First off, if you want the map, here it is. If you're watching this on Game Espresso, I'll add the picture below. If you're just on YouTube, check the link in the description. But if you want to know how to figure it out without just looking at the map, keep watching. In Submerged, you play as Miku and your brother Taku is injured and sick. Across the city, there are crates that contain supplies to help Taku. Opening them up reveals more of the story behind these two kids and makes Taku get better while Miku's mysterious infection spreads. The crates are located on 10 ruined buildings. You can spot them by climbing up to tall places and marking them on the map with your telescope. You'll also mark secrets and boat upgrades this way. One good place to start this is by finding Bird's Eye, just northeast of the clock tower you live at. Right up to the crate areas, climb up, and there they are, usually near the top. Also, any building that appears a transparent black on the map is guaranteed to have a crate in it, so you can drive around and find them all even without the telescope. In addition to the ledges and edges, ladders and pipes, some areas have parts covered in leaves that you can also move across. If you're stuck, keep looking around and don't overlook these parts. Gathering the supply crates progresses the story and teleports you back home to the clock tower. But this also means you might leave before you grab the secrets. Every building with the crates also has pieces of the city story. So be sure you've cleaned the area out before grabbing the crate. Otherwise, you'd have to drive the boat back there and climb the place all over again. Sometimes you're guaranteed to find the crate first when the secret is just a few ledges away. The secrets are scattered just about everywhere, but frequent use of the telescope and going to undiscovered areas of the map should get most of them. The same can be said of the landmarks and boat upgrades. If you've almost got a complete collection but are just missing a few, it's typically in an undiscovered area or crate building that you didn't completely clear out. Even if you're using the map of a player who's found all locations, like the one below, sometimes they're bunched together in a crate building and harder to see. You should naturally run into all the creatures in your journal, save for a few. You can spot them just by bumping into them with your boat or using the telescope. You need to spot the weird infected people from crate buildings, preferably with the telescope the moment you find one standing still. If you find all the crates, you can't add them to your journal. If you've explored the map, you should have run into most of the sea creatures. The only tough one to find is the huge whale. He can be found at random points along the edges of the city, but we'll always eventually come back to the spot over by the compass and the drowned bridge. Yes, around here somewhere. I swear, just keep driving around here and it'll pop up. Wave after wave, slowly drifting away. Ah, there he is. So everything in the journal has been found. What's left? The postcard feature. Pressing escape and making a postcard will pause the game and allow you to move the camera to take the shots you want. No, you can't get rid of that icon in the bottom right corner without actually editing the photo. For the PC version, if you're in full screen, the print screen button on your keyboard doesn't seem to work. So press F12 or whatever you've mapped it to, depending on the system you're playing on, and the screenshot will be added to Steam. Or if you're using Fraps, you can use whatever you've mapped it to there. Finally, the game auto-saves and there is no feature to start a new game. If you want to start over, you have to go to the game's files and delete the sub-sg file or uninstall and reinstall the game. That's a wrap for Submerged, thank you for watching.